what are the health benefits of pineapple, of pineapple water, and something called bromelain, which is found within pineapple? Um, I have you all to thank, actually, for this video. One of you wrote me on social media asking me about uh, pineapple water and the benefits of it. So we're going to break it down a little bit today. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you all. Welcome back. For those of you who've been a part of my channel, if you've not, please join us. We'd love to have you. Okay, so let's first start talking about about pineapple, which by the way, I love pineapple. Oh my God, it's super sweet. It's so tasty, etc. It's got tons of nutritional benefits as a fruit. Okay. You're eating pineapple. What are you going to get? Well, you're going to get vitamin C. In fact, uh, you're going to get about a third of your daily recommended uh, amount of vitamin C. So it's packed full with vitamin C. But not only that, it's got manganese, it's got lots of vitamins and minerals, it's got fiber. Ooh, fiber is so, so good for helping our bowels kind of keep on moving and all sorts of other things. It's got B vitamins and it also has something called bromelain, which I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Okay, um, so let's just jump into bromelain because oftentimes what I've found during uh, with doing the research I've done on pineapple, by the way, my sources are up to date, which is a medical resource we often use uh, in the medical community. NIH, MedlinePlus.gov. I did a PubMed search, uh, a few other things I took a look at as well. Um, the um, uh, EatRight.org, which is a nutritional website. Anyway, so just so you know where this information is coming from. Anyway, bromelain, which I think is super interesting, by the way, um, is a mixture of enzymes that is found in the fruit and the stem of pineapple. So when you look online, a lot of times I think when people are talking about the benefits of pineapple, they may be talking about the nutritional benefits uh, that I mentioned, but they may also be talking about this bromelain because it's enzymes found in the pineapple, but what do these enzymes do? They actually help to digest protein. So there are a lot of potential uses and potential benefits in sort of the health science area for this bromelain. And if you take a, you do a Google search, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, what are sources saying that bromelain can do? Okay. They're saying, well, it can maybe help with pain, maybe help with swelling, with inflammation, even burns, interestingly enough, with arthritis, with sort of other things. Oh, and I've actually seen um, some uh, reports that it may help with like mucus, may help with just actually a wide range of, of sort of symptoms or medical conditions, et cetera, in our body. Okay. But now let's get to whether it actually works and whether it actually does these things, right? Because that's probably one of the reasons why you're watching this video. Um, so I took a look again at a number of sources. There have been some studies uh, done on bromelain. We don't have a lot of great studies. The studies we have may not be the best quality and they may not be the most definitive. So when it comes to saying hard and fast that bromelain does X, Y, Z, A, B, C, I just want us to have more data. I need to know more. We just need to have a lot more information. But what I will say though, is that there is some uh, information online on up to date, et cetera, about bromelain, the sort of the, that mixture of enzymes being used for burns and things like that. What am I saying? What I'm saying is that there is potential here. Uh, but despite the promising benefits, I should be clear. I don't think this is a slam dunk. You know, I, we, we need more data, more information, better studies about what pineapple can and cannot do. Um, you know, this is not a, 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 a cure-all fruit um, that's going to sort of change everything, in my opinion. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind. Uh, use and eat pineapple for its taste, for its nutritional benefits, but I'm not recommending, certainly to any of my patients, that they use it for other benefits uh, until we have more information on that. Now, I also want to say too that bromelain found in a pineapple that you eat because remember bromelain is a mixture of enzymes that digest proteins it's found in the fruit and the stem of pineapple um i don't know that i can say that that's going to be the same as a bromelain supplement because apparently bromelain does exist as a supplement as well with certain milligrams of doses and remember what i've always said about vitamins and supplements at least in this country in the united states they're not uh well regulated uh, they're not regulated really at all by the fda in terms of sort of quality and you know composition and this and that okay and we also don't have a lot of studies about vitamins and supplements um to say what they actually do etc so my point being is that there's just a lot of questions i think there's a lot of amazing potential here i really really do and there might be a lot of uh, there might be some evidence that i'm not aware of but i think we need 
need more evidence. So what I would say about bromelain is, bromelain, I think that's how you say it, is number one, um, I wouldn't go around eating extra pineapple to get bromelain eat the pineapple that you want to eat. Remember, I don't like anything in excess because anything in excess can be a problem. Okay. So let me just say this right now. Eat pineapple because you love it, because you want to eat it. By the way, I'm going to tell you a few ways that you can cook and use pineapple. Um, I don't know that I, oh no, I know I wouldn't eat extra pineapple to get this bromelain. Whether or not you take a bromelain supplement, you know, look, a, a bromelain supplement is not something I'm recommending to my patients. If it's something that you would like to try, um, you should really talk to your doctors first. Now, some of you are probably going to to write a comment underneath this video saying you always have to talk to your doctor but our doctors don't know anything well it is true that doctors we don't know as much about nutrition as we should but we do know you and no one else knows you in terms of your medical conditions your um your underlying conditions medications no one knows that like we do and so we may able to be, may be able to give you some guidance about whether taking a bromelain supplement or any other supplement for that matter makes sense based on the medicines you're on your underlying medical conditions because remember a number of supplements can interact with things like blood thinners and so many other things okay so you're right we don't know everything but there are things that we can contribute to when, when it comes to supplements so talk to your doctor about that um what i would also say before we get to some of the ways that you can kind of make pineapple, because that's really the name of the game here, I think. Uh, don't forget that many people actually do have allergies to certain fruits, including pineapple. I've had a number of patients over the years have allergies to pineapple. You just want to be careful with any potential allergy. Symptoms of allergies or allergic reactions can be itching, swelling, uh, you know, things like that. I'm not going to go into it because this video is not about allergies, but I just want you to be cautious because, again, certain percent of the population will have an allergy to certain things, including um uh, pineapple. Okay. But so let's go back to what I really hope you take from this video. In addition to the fact that I, in my opinion, I think the verdict is out on how exactly bromelain can be used, um, how it should be used, etc. cetera. Um, what I do know is that pineapple is a fruit that's healthy. Um, you know, it's got some sugar in it. So if you uh, need to be careful about your sugar, you need to be thoughtful about that. But remember guys, you can grill pineapple. Some people like pineapple pizza. I have to say, I've never had a pineapple pizza. If you like pineapple pizza, write uh, um, in the comments. Let me know because maybe it's something I should try. I don't know, but you can grill pineapple. You can um, actually make like a little sparkling uh, water concoction. Okay. Oh, and I didn't talk about the pineapple water thing. I'm going to get to that. Sparkling water concoction, a little bit of sparkling water with some pineapple. Um, yum. Talk about refreshing. Some people actually use pineapple in some of their, um, their cocktails that they love to make, mocktails, you name it. And then of course with uh, coleslaws, slaws, um, dishes, I mean, talk about an awesome fruit to use. So, okay. Pineapple water. Okay. Because there are articles about pineapple water. My opinion about pineapple water, Water is very similar to what I told you uh, already in this video. Okay. Um, pineapple water, in my opinion, is not a cure-all. Okay. I, you know, there's really not one food or drink out there that's going to cure things uh, the way I think sometimes we'd like to believe that it will. Pineapple water, the same. Okay. And I'm not even sure how much bromelain would be actually in pi pineapple water, et cetera, if that's what we're talking about. My point being is, um, you know, if something sounds too good to be true, it possibly is. Um, make sure you're eating a well-rounded diet. I think that's honestly the most important. Make sure you're talking to your doctor about anything you'd like to try, supplements, et cetera. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know other topics you want to hear about. Write them in the comments. Um, um, on Facebook, please like and follow my page. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, um, I do daily videos on all sorts of things. Uh, I'm also on TikTok, WhatsApp, um, wah, Threads, X, etc. Uh, follow me at, at Dr. Jen Cottle and sign up for my free health newsletter at drjencoddle.com. All right, guys. Love y'all. Okay. Bye. Oh, and tell me what, what, tell me what you make with pineapple, by the way. You see, I get really excited about pineapple. So yummy, right? Um, so tell me what recipes you enjoy using your pineapple. All right. Bye.